Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I joined a 2 times loot server with the population being over 24 the whole time and we're going to get into a ton of intense PvP against groups and many geared players. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you want to see more videos like these, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 200 likes. You guys are absolutely smashing each like goal and I really appreciate it. Also 71% of you guys watching this right now are not yet subscribed so I would really appreciate it if you hit that button and let's get straight into the action. Alright, so I'm in the server. The server recently wiped. I had a lot of good gear, but it's all gone now. I'm not gonna be solo, I'm gonna be duo, but the server is pretty much full. Everybody's a villain. Everybody's in a group. There's four-man groups, three-man groups, duos, everything. And we're gonna do some stuff. It's going to be very intense. And I'm pretty sure even if we do the smallest raid, we're gonna get countered. Nicole has already played here and she gave me a peacemaker. We're gonna head straight to military. Obviously, probably going to be people around there. Maybe we'll get ourselves some Rex searches going on. Well, I hear some echo shots happening up there. I think they're PvPing. I don't know what's going on. It could be a base raid. It could be a counter. So we're gonna go give it a look. We might loot military really quickly. Try to get a gun. Looks like it's already pretty much looted though. I got myself some ammo. Come on, give me a heartbreaker. No, an Avenger. Right, I'm gonna go for it anyway. There's an echo up there. That's already raiding gear. Next to a base, odds are they're raiding it. Maybe even a live base raid. There's actually a lot of people showing up as well. Saber toots. Every single gun is literally being heard over here. And Nicole did loot military a bit. She got me a heartbreaker. That's actually really good. Some ammo as well. Perfect. And I'm gonna push. Hopefully, I don't get killed. And hopefully, if this goes well, we actually get ourselves a really nice Rex searches. I don't know how many people are in there. All right, here we go. Looks like they're raiding a base or something. Oh, that's their base. They closed it. All right. Well, it looks like we found a live raid. That's actually kind of epic. Uh, they're screaming in here. I don't know what's going on. They're camping with blunt forces, man. That's literally impossible to beat. Right, one of them dead. Hold on. I am out of ammo. Let me vault stuff already. I'm going to vault stuff. If I get killed, I'm putting it all in there. All the good stuff. All guns. Oh, oh boy, he's right here. Destroy the bed. Alright. Okay, I think we countered them actually. I think I got all of we got all of the loot. Now we gotta make sure that they don't come back. That there's no way we just killed them and we have all of this loot. There's an echo. There's so much stuff in here as well. I got a small Elise back. We got a detonator and vault as well. That's actually insane. Alright, let me drop those grenades. Let me put another PDW in there. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna make them into sheets and I'm gonna make them into plates actually. So people can't counter us while we load in peace. Yeah, thankfully the area isn't even claimed. All right, there we go. We have actually taken this base over kind of until we get out of here. Now the server isn't actually high load. The server is only two times. So it's not that insanely high load. So it's still kind of hard to get load, but the server is, the server is pretty much full all the time. All right, so Nicole actually got a dragon thing. Let's go. We got a dragon thing. They had a dragon thing out here and we're gonna finish this raid. We're gonna see what's inside these wardrobes before we get countered probably. We've been in the server for like five minutes and we already got all of this loot i should break any moments yeah some more high cows rock explosive some more high cows. another detonator some rock explosives that's really good actually we got another detonator that's an easy horde beacon so actually i'm gonna put a bed here we're gonna take this base over there's a lot of metal on the floor and the server has max skills so i'm probably going to do doorways i'm going to do doors so we're gonna take this over i'm pretty sure there's gonna be people coming back there's people outside they actually heard us raid we gotta be very very careful oh, there's a guy outside what the hell is he doing? Right, there's a little gap, so we gotta be scared if we're gonna be peeking out there. I'm gonna salvage this plate and I'm gonna take all of his loot. Nicole's gonna cover while I do that. Alright, let's take all of his loot. Oh, there's another guy, I hear him. Alright, he got another he has another detonator as well. She killed him as well. Alright, we got a sticky grenade. Alright, we did get a bunch of loot. I did get myself some more good guns. I'm gonna make a doorway right over here. Did he just throw a grenade? Can't go through, bro. I'll put it right over here in the door. Perfect. They're, they're trying grenades. Okay, so these guys are actually door camping us. We can't go out. I think these are like the guys that were trying to raid them. The owners of the base, I'm pretty sure they actually rage quit. So th that's kind of funny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out there fully naked with only a weapon. There's a lot of PvP happening over at military. As soon as I salvage this plate, I'll drop it. I'll go out and Nicole will place the plate again. So she's safe in here. There's actually another plate I have to salvage, which is the damaged one. Alright, one dead. One more dead, and there's a third guy. I have no ammo, I'm dead, yeah. Alright, I'm actually camping. Green skins and Zubax outside their base. He's right behind this plate, he has no idea I'm salvaging it. Alright, he's dead, let me take his gun, and we'll place the plate back. There we go, we just got ourselves a fully decked out Zubax. 
Alright, one of them is dead. They haven't been outside their base for a while, so I, I think they actually left. After we killed the green guy, there's another guy there. Alright, he's dead. Alright, this guy had Heartbreaker and some Heikel, that's pretty good. I'll take all of the meds as well. And the second guy had an Elise pack, another Heartbreaker, a bunch of ammo. Alright, these guys were actually pretty geared as well. They were fully decked out. Alright, we're gonna try to get a chainsaw, we wanna build our own base, we don't wanna stay in that temporary base because first of all, it's next to military, there's always people there. And we also need to get ourselves a bunch of wood. We need wood in order to make storage, because we literally have no storage in that base. And the only way we can is making lockers. Alright, got myself a crate. Pretty sure I can make another one as well, actually. And over here, we're gonna store a bunch of guns. I do have quite a ton. We're actually going to finish raiding these lockers. We did get ourselves some high kill, so hopefully we'll have enough to actually break all of them. This one had two more high kill boxes and a dragon fang block. We got a steely as well, so that's pretty good. Oh, this one was already broken. I had the PW fully decked out the back and some raw. And this one had a dragon fang box, devil's bane as well. And I am dead from behind. Oh, this guy seems geared. He has a white Elise pack. Could be either small Elise pack or, or God size. Alright, he doesn't know that I live here though. Never mind, he actually did find us and he's not a solo. Oh, this guy's dead. Let's take all of his loot. Alright, I'm gonna salvage this then actually. And we're gonna push because he's gonna be solo. He's probably accepting his friend's TPA. Alright, and that pre fire worked perfectly. Alright, let's take all of this loot. Yeah, he's actually stacked. Dragon Fang boxes, two Dragon Fang boxes. Oh, he has a God Size Elise pack, actually. Alright, let's take all of his glow. We can make a ton of charges already. Blowtorch. Alright, let's take all of this. And this guy's loot, this first guy as well. Oh my god, look at all of this loot that we've just got. So next we're gonna go around Seattle. We're gonna try to get into PvP there. If we don't find anyone there, we'll head over to military. Oh, there's a guy up there. He's dead. He had a shadow stalker. If he actually hit me, I probably would have died before him. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna see what else loot he had. It's kind of scary going into Seattle on a full server. All right, one more person dead. I think these guys looted the dead guy that I killed earlier. And I'm pretty sure there's another guy in, in here, yeah. He's dead. He had a uh, lease back and a peacemaker. Oh, he's on the roof, of course. And I think Nicole died as well, so we are in a pretty bad situation. Alright, he's in here. Alright, Nicole killed him nice. Alright, I got most of my loot back. Let's see what else I've left over here. Looks like somebody died over here. Yeah, heartbreaker, some stuff. There's another Shadow Stalker guy somewhere. He killed Nicole. People on the bridge. A bunch of loot over here. Let me take those. There's a fully decked out saber toot. Alright, and he's dead. Let's go. He was roof camping, man. Alright, some of it actually fell down. He had the small east pack, a bunch of guns, some high kill as well. Oh, there's a guy behind us. Dead as well. Yeah, I think he only had the PDW and I think Nicole took it. Now he's dead. Another oh, guy. Dead as well. And I'll go see what loot they've both had. Alright, his loot is right over here. And he has Shadow's PDW as well. I'll take that. I could take the Shadow Stalker probably. And all of the rails. There's a guy over there. He's dead. Alright, he had a bunch of guns, Yuri. That's literally it. He didn't really have any good loot. There's a guy up there and then there's another guy up there. I think he's building up to try to raid him or something. So maybe we could try to counter him, kill him, and then leave with his loot. He might have raiding gear if he's gonna try to raid him. I can take this Echo out and take the 7x from my Heartbreaker. Alright, hit him. He's dead. I'm gonna guess that the guy up there might peek me. Alright, guy up there is dead as well. Now I'm getting shot at with a saber tooth. I think it's from the island. And there's a guy up there. I hit him. Oh, they killed Nicole. I'm all alone. Alright, guy on island is dead. I'm getting shot at. Alright, hit him. Let's switch to Heartbreaker. He's very, very low. He's dead as well. Oh, and I am dead from behind. Some people in melee. Alright, he's dead. Heartbreaker up. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Alright, one guy dead. I'm pretty sure there's one more with the saber somewhere. Yeah, he's right in front of me. Right, he's dead as well. Yeah, fully decked out saber. Well, I don't know where these guys actually went. They, they kind of vanished. There's still a guy on top up there. But I did kill a guy on the island and I don't think he was actually with them. So I'm gonna go see what loot he had. Actually, he's right over there still. Or maybe that one by one base is actually his. Yeah, this one by one is actually unraided. I really, really think that it's his. I do have charges in my vault. I do have a Detto in my vault. We could maybe try to live raid him right now, actually, before he logs off with the load. I will put a charge, actually. Yeah, he's actually inside. I heard them play something. Time to put a charge, and here we go. 
And he's dead, let's destroy the bed. Yep, this guy has my echo, he has my saber. And we actually got ourselves a chainsaw finally. It's time to raid these lockers really quickly before the guy up there actually jumps off. Let's take all of the loot. Hopefully some good loot inside these wardrobes. Never mind, they were empty. The most important thing is I got my echo back. I got myself a full outfit, a bunch of guns, and we got ourselves a chainsaw. So now we could actually build our own base and no longer have to live in this abomination that we took over. Alright, he's dead. I think I saw another guy on the hill actually between Millie and Seattle. Probably doesn't know that I know about him, but I'm gonna go completely around because I'm gonna guess he's gonna be camping me. He's dead. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there was somebody very close to here. Let's go check what loot he had, and then we'll go actually loot the guy that I've killed the melee with the echo. The fully decked out the back, fully decked out Yuri, thief clothes. Oh, there's a guy back there, actually. Wait, this is the same guy that I've just killed, right? I, I recognize his cosmetics. Right, he's dead. Peacemaker. We'll take that. Thank you very much. All right, and he had some good loot, actually. Fully decked out Saber and another Heartbreaker for mm. Raw. Alright, so this is our new base. I'm gonna place myself some lockers. Now, after this, we're probably just going to start moving all of the loot that we have from that metal base that we took over to this one. We might actually keep a couple there. So if this base gets raided, then we would have some more loot in the other one. Our loot will be spread around. Wait, what? From where? What the hell? This guy wasted a whole magazine of Metsamoris on me. He had a scope as well. So this base down here actually is unraided, so we might probably raid that next. After we finish our base, it's very close to ours. Hopefully it has some good loot. But it looks like it's just a 2 by one and the other part is probably just a garage. So we actually made ourselves a second floor. Now the only way for us to go inside the base is slash home, and the only way to get out is from the second floor. So it's gonna be a bit more annoying for raiders. Especially once we have a claim flag, they wouldn't be able to just go in through the door. They would actually have to raid. So if we're getting door camped, and they kill us while our door is open, they can't actually go in. We're gonna raid this base we're gonna place a charge right over there and we are in two beds this one has some, this raid was actually kind of bad we got two raw at least we did get the raw that we used for the charge and then like there's some seven x's and the blowtorch that's literally it i found another one by one there's a wardrobe over here and it, it did break we got ourselves some junk this was this was even worse than last one because we actually wasted a ton of charges there's some people in melee one dead Wait, is that guy not dead? Alright, killed another guy though. This was a three man team. Alright, well, I'm gonna push him then. He's probably gonna be panicking, accepting his friend's TPAs. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. Alright, this guy had a saber tooth, a bunch of metal, high kel. There's actually people up on the tower. I think they're back. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, it's the same people as well. They came back so quickly. I don't know how. I thought I, I killed them all. Alright, one dead. He really tried with an Avenger, but now they know that I'm actually gonna be pushing them. Alright, Nicole's pressuring them. And I'm dead. I killed one, but obviously they, they're all hiding down there. Yeah, they're all on the ground. Alright, and they're all dead. Let's go. Let's take all of this loot and go depot back at base. And we are safely back in base with all of this good loot. Got a bunch of guns, a bunch of metal, a bunch of Elise packs. We could already upgrade them probably. Nicole did get a bunch of other guns as well. Alright, he's dead. He had a bulldog, sniper, skills are back, a Elise pack, a bunch of ammo. We had echo magazines as well. I'll take those. Thank you. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want more intense PvP videos like these, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!